So I'm here with Bobak Ferdosi from NASA JPL. Bobak, how's the fair? How are you enjoying yourself? I'm having a great time. I mean, this is a really fun event. There's a lot of people out here, a lot of kids out here, which is always kind of yeah. the coolest thing. And I do feel like they ask the really tough questions. I have seen some of the ro the robotic stuff, which is always cool for me. I always like I'm I'm a big fan. Uh, plus, I just kind of want to walk around like Ripley and Aliens one day. So that's my my dream. What are you working on back at work? So I just uh, kind of transitioned off the Mars Curiosity project, uh, and now I'm working on a study uh, called Europa Clipper. Uh, we're hoping it gets kind of picked up and becomes a real project. Uh, but the idea is to study this, you know, the second moon of Jupiter. It's got this icy crust. You know, a nice, we think of kind of a water ocean underneath there and a rocky kind of core underneath that. Uh, and so the kind of, we think the conditions are right for life. So, uh, you know, the idea is to send a mission there, map it for a couple of years, do a lot of flybys, ice penetrating radar, uh, stereo imaging, all these different things that help us kind of, one, understand, you know, the moon better, and then two, maybe even prepare for a landed mission in the future, which is what I think a lot of us want to do. Oh my gosh, that sounds just like amazing. That sounds like an amazing project. My favorite part about the festival is like you said earlier, getting the kids involved. Yeah. Do you do a lot of that in kind of your day to day when you're say planning things at NASA? Do you ever take into account kind of getting the next generation excited? So I mean even in early projects we always have some kind of funding resource for education and outreach which I think is a really important part of the mission. You know there are people who make uh, sometimes make cases that you know we should have this type of camera on board because you know it'll be better for people to relate to. With kind of like curiosity and the robotic, you know, missions we sent to Mars, obviously one of the things we think about a lot is what would a human be like on Mars? So these, you know, these masks that we have, the camera eye level, is kind of close to what a human eye level would be. Right. And that's, you know, that's one that's kind of easier for us because geologists are kind of comfortable with it. But two, I think it makes it more relatable for the public and, and hopefully for kids too. So when you were a kid, were you, you were really into science, I take it? I had this curiosity about the world and just like how do things work and I wanted to understand that and uh, I think that kind of takes you naturally down some of the science paths. I love physics. I mean, that's my still my favorite subject. Well, thanks a lot for taking the time to talk to us today. My pleasure. It's so much fun.